Good morning, Falcons, and welcome to Falcon TV. Today is uh, Wednesday, April 11, 2018. I'm Roger Colon Lalante and David doing the show. Now over to some great opportunities for seniors. It's Wednesday, and that means that today, after school, the math club will be in the bus loop selling their waffles. Oh! We know Mr. Sen. He can often be seen subbing at Oakcrest, and recently we interviewed him. I'm Roger Cameron McCollum. I'm reporting for Falcon TV. I'm here with Mr. Sen to talk about his upcoming concert. Now, Mr. Sen, what instrument do you play? I play the guitar, uh, both acoustic and electric, uh, mainly rhythm guitar, but I also play a little bit of lead guitar now and then. All right. Uh, how long have you been playing the guitar? Oh, I guess for the better part of 25 years or so. Um, yeah, that's about right. All right. Now, what is this concert you're performing at? Mm -hmm. This is going to be a concert. It's going to be at Cedar Creek High School. It's going to be in the Performing Arts Center at Cedar Creek High School, and it's a benefit show for the Cedar Creek Choir Program. All of the money raised goes directly to the Cedar Creek Choir Program. Uh, my band, uh, we're, we're, we're donating our time. 100% of the proceeds go right to the choir program at Cedar Creek High School. All right, nice. Uh, when is this concert? Mm -hmm. The concert is this Sunday. April 15th at 5 o'clock, again at the Cedar Creek Auditorium. Uh, is there any uh, information we should know about? Oh, I promise you a good show if you come to Cedar Creek on Sunday at 5. Uh, to be honest with you, our lead guitar player, Ernie, is worth the price of admission alone. He's a legitimately great, great lead guitar player. And uh, we're going to have backup singers, we're going to have a horn section. We're going to pull out all the bells and whistles for this one. We do it once a year, so there's a lot of work that goes into it, and we hope you can make it. All right, this Sunday at Cedar Creek High School, 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. Thank you, Mr. Sen. Now, if a reality TV star can be present, then a reboot of Trading Spaces is no big surprise. But what about this one? MTV is rebooting the Jersey Shore with most of the original cast. It's time for a whole new cycle of gym, tanning, and laundry with Pauly D, Jay Wow, Snooki, and the rest of the gang. It's been six years since it was last on, and for some reason, there have been some significant changes. Wonder how much of the show will be the same. Or do we really want that? This Friday, the Sea Club will be celebrating Earth Day, a time to focus on the carbon footprints humanity leaves on the planet and the sustainability of the environment. Our new governor, Phil Murphy, is aware of the effects on the planet and is taking steps to help out New Jersey. He'd like to see New Jersey powered by 100% clean energy by the middle of this century and announced a Danish offshore wind company has plans to open an office in Atlantic City. Murphy said he wants 1.5 million New Jersey homes powered by offshore windmills by 2030 and has upped his goal to 100% clean energy by 2050. Wow. This Thursday, the ASL Club will be meeting after school in room 117. This Thursday after school at 2.45, the Drama Club will also be hosting auditions for the one act in the cafeteria. These are student-directed plays, usually much shorter than full-length plays, but is still as intense or as funny or intensely funny as full-length plays. Everyone can audition, so come out this Thursday. Well, that's it for today's show. So for myself, Alana, and David, Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Well, on D-Day, people.